hello you guys welcome back to my channel we have a new background and i am super excited for today's video because i have a makeup declutter so one thing to know about me you guys is inevitably every three months or so i feel the need to like rearrange um and even though like in my mind i'm like i don't actually want to rearrange because i understand it's just, just habit in me but I have to rearrange in some way. And I have a smaller apartment now, so like my rearranging options are just like more limited. But I had been finding that my makeup drawers, which are now behind me, had previously been in my closet. And I just like wasn't, like I wasn't cycling through my makeup collection. I wasn't excited to use my makeup collection. And I think part of it was because I had to like literally get up and then go into my closet to like grab stuff. But now as I'm getting ready, this is where I get ready every single day. It's literally just right behind me if I want to like grab something different. So I feel like this is gonna make such a big difference in terms of me cycling through my entire makeup collection more. And even just moving these drawers out here like makes me so much more excited about my makeup collection. But as I was moving the drawers out here, I wanted to go through my makeup collection and see what I was still loving versus what I felt like I could get rid of. And I have quite a few products in front of me that I'm gonna be decluttering. I want to only bring in products that like I truly am excited about into 2024. So I really tried to think through those things as I was going through my makeup collection. And I also tried to compare like lip gloss. Any lip gloss I was like on the fence about, I was like, okay, me keeping this in my collection means that like, if I use this, I won't be using my Lawless Forget the Filler, which we all know how much I love Lawless Forget the Filler. So I really try to think through things that way. And I have so many products that I will be decluttering today. And my family's coming up today, so this is perfect. I'm going to let them have first options as to if they want anything. I don't feel like that grammar made sense, but if you guys are interested in seeing what products I'm going to be passing along, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love for you to consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's just jump into the video. Okay, you guys, because this is like in this tub, there's like no rhyme or reason to anything. I'm gonna try and make sense of it really quick. By the way, my dishwasher is currently running. If you can hear noises in the background, I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna start with lipstick because all of these lipsticks, if you guys watched my swatching every lipstick in my entire collection video, these are those lipsticks. So I'll leave that video linked down below in case you were interested in seeing swatches of any of these. But I really only wanted to keep the amount of lipsticks that could fit up here in my little lipstick holder. And we were successful in that. So I have two MAC lipsticks that I'm getting rid of. I have the shade Give In. And now that I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm not sure I wanna get rid of this. This is this really beautiful pale pink, but I just don't reach for a pale pink like this. I'm not gonna swatch everything because I've already swatched everything on my lips in that video. And then also the shade Mocha, which looks like this. Again, really beautiful. I don't reach for lipsticks that often though. So I was really also trying to think through like what I actually use. I also decided that I am ready to part ways with the shade Pink Lemonade from the Tarte Color Splash Collection. That is what that looks like. I have KVD Ludwig. And what was not decided in that lipstick declutter video, but I have decided I will be getting rid of because I just do not reach for a shade like this anymore. Um, I'm gonna also be getting rid of Bow and Arrow. Bow and Arrow is just much more cool toned than I prefer. Like on my lips, it actually just looks gray and I don't feel like it's flattering on me at all. I do like more of a cool toned nude, but this is just like too nude i was swatching lip products yesterday with my daughter and i was actually having her help me smell some of my liquid lipsticks so i feel like i'm biased and i'll convince myself that something doesn't actually smell just to keep it in my collection so i was like swatching things and having her help decide me decide me <laughs> decide for me and i swatched this on my lips and she was like heck no mom do not keep that so um i also have buxom the matte lipstick in white russian which is like this bright pink kind of I thought I was keeping Coral Confession. I feel like I am keeping Coral Confession. I thought I was. Maybe I'm not, because I do have other coral shades in my collection. You know what, I'm not, because it's over here in this bucket. <laughs> okay. Um, I also have Stila Emma. This is something I've gone back and forth on declaring so many times within its lifetime with me. Then I have ColourPop Golden Beach, the lipstick. Um, 
this is just more warm toned than I prefer in a lipstick. Again, I do like something more cool toned. So I will be getting rid of that. And then also e.l.f. cream I'm getting rid of, which kind of pains me, but at the same time, I did keep some nude lipsticks. Um, I also have, sorry, one more from Lucky Chick. This is like a bright orangey red. Um, I just do not feel like I will use this one. Plus, I feel like this is one that like you can't trust on your lips. Like I feel like it gets everywhere. So decluttering that. Moving on to liquid lipsticks. Again, I have my daughter help me with this and I feel like I'm getting rid of a decent amount of liquid lipsticks. So I have my last two from Kylie Cosmetics. Both of these are just so old and the fact that I have that I still have these in my collection is embarrassing. So I have the shade Commando as well as the shade Ginger. I mean, these are, I swear that like doesn't smell. I actually didn't even, I just like put these in the declutter. I didn't even open them to smell them. Uh, ginger is pretty. I just never reach for a liquid lipstick. Um, so there is ginger and there is commando. I just need to get rid of these and not convince myself I need them. So putting those over there. I am so pained to be getting rid of this one. Um, this is one I had to have my daughter smell and then I put on my lips and she was like, that looks terrible, mom. And I was like, are you sure? I really like this nude <laughs> lip. But this is from Too Faced. It is their melted matte formula and I actually hate this formula. I think it's so drying. But I love this shade of nude. It's more of a cool tone, beigey nude. Um, but like a little bit warmer than um, Ludwig. Ugh, I'm, this does true. This is like, I smelled this and I was like, does it smell bad? And then like, I had my daughter's smell and she's like, oh my gosh, that smells terrible. I'm having a hard time parting ways with this. Then I put this on my lips even after that. And I didn't have any adverse effects yesterday. I want to keep this one so badly, but I know I like literally shouldn't. I reach for it maybe once a year. Okay, okay, this is going in the trash so that I don't think twice about it. Um, when I was in college, I would literally, I'm thinking of running water over this or like literally going like this around the trash can so that I can't decide to keep this. When I was in college, if I had like a tub of ice cream and I had got like eaten half of it, like spooning half of it, like literally in the tub, not in the bowl, I would literally feel so guilty and then I would go run water over the rest of my tub of ice cream to get myself to stop eating it. Um, I also have the shade Flirty from Dose of Colors. There's a couple of Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks that I kept that I'm feeling like are a little bit questionable, but this shade Flirty is just a little bit too pink for my liking. Um, so it was, this one was not hard for me to part ways with. I actually have more Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks than I even thought. They make my favorite liquid lipstick formula. And although I don't reach for liquid lipsticks that frequently, if I'm gonna reach for one, it is likely gonna be a dose of color. So I really have struggled to let go of those over the years. And then the last liquid lipstick, it is time for me to say goodbye to Fenty Uncuffed. This one does just smell like it is like really gone off. I did wear it the other day just for like one last two raw. Again, no adverse effects, but like also don't really wanna risk it. There it is swatched right there. A really, really beautiful shade, especially for this time of year. I'm sad that um, I didn't get more use out of this and this one is like truly gone bad um, and I have to toss it. I I do also like the Fenty liquid lipstick formula. She also just has great shades in her range. So if I ever was like in need of a liquid lipstick, I would turn to Fenty. I just, I do hate the packaging. Although I don't know if it even comes in this packaging anymore. I, I don't know if, she has released a new formula as well, like the one that came in the shade she wore for the Super Bowl. Like, I don't know if she has two separate lines, one with this, one in that line, or if they're all switched over to like the other packaging. Am I even making sense? Um, that is getting the boot. Okay, a few other lipstick, lip products that I will be getting rid of. I have this from Lila B. This is one of the lip oils in Be Remarkable. This unfortunately has gone off too. Like this smells absolutely rancid. And oh yeah, that one smells so bad. And this is one I had been wearing for a couple of days. And then I was noticing I was getting breakouts like by my lips. So I was like, yeah, this like literally needs to go. Um, a lip gloss, my last Kylie lip product. This is the lip gloss in the shade Like. I just never reach for this. I hate the paintbrush tip. And this is one that also actually does smell like it has gone off. It is a really beautiful brown shade. Again. Kylie Cosmetics has since like completely rebranded since and this is so old and just needs to go but 
I wish I reached for that more in my lifetime. Okay, Ooh, one more liquid lipstick. Uh, this is Lime Crime's True Love. This one does smell like it's starting to go off. I do like this shade. I think it's a really fun pop of like a reddy pink sort of shade, but I just, you know, do not reach for shades like that that frequently, and I don't reach for liquid lipsticks. And then the last, no, two more lip products, sorry. I have the shade Crush from Alter Ego. This is also a liquid lipstick. They sent this to me, and I just do not reach for rosy shades like this on my lips. So I'm gonna pass this one along. Hopefully my sister or someone wants this one, um, but I just don't see myself getting use out of it, so I may as well send it along while it's still good so that someone else can get use and love out of it. And then I do have one of the Kaja keychains that I'll be getting rid of. As I was like putting things back in my drawer, I felt like I needed to get rid of one shade of my Kaja keychains to make it fit nicely, so I was like, okay. Which shade is my least favorite? And I went with, and the shades aren't written on the outer packaging of this. This is more of like a rosy, reddy sort of shade. And I don't like that like rosy, almost like your lips sort of shade. I don't really enjoy. I, I prefer something more cool toned. So I will be passing this along. This one is still good. Again, hopefully my sister or maybe my mom would want that one. That is the last lip product I'm getting rid of. Aside from my lip liners, um, I really had to have a heart to heart with myself and tell myself I literally never reach for lip liners. I'm just not a lip liner girly, but I feel like maybe someday I will be, and I've been hanging on to these for that day, and I'm like, girl, you... no. I still have lip liners in my collection, but I do have six lip liners that I'll be getting rid of. I have two from Glass Gloss. One is this bright, like, fire engine orangey red. I'm running out of room to swatch. Um, it is really pretty. I just don't reach for a lip liner. And if I am reaching for a lip liner, it's literally like a cool toned pink. Um, so I'm also going to be getting rid of this one. This is a bright pink. I actually had a lot of fun reaching for this bright pink almost as a lipstick earlier this year. But I just don't really see myself doing that a ton. And like who knows if I'll even like bright pink lips next summer. So I'm just going to get rid of that. If I really want a bright pink lip, it's likely not going to be this Barbie pink. And I can just buy lipstick or find something in my collection. I'm also gonna be getting rid of the uh, e.l.f. Triangle Lip Pencil in the shade Soft Pink. Um, this is, again, just more of like that rosy shade that I just am not really reaching for. I don't know if you'll be able to see that that well. Um, and I barely reached this. I do actually really like this formula from e.l.f. and I like the triangle tip. I do still have one of these in my collection. It's more of a cool tone shade. Um, it's a great formula, especially for drugstore, but like, I'm like, is this more cool tone? I'm, I told myself I was gonna get rid of that, so I am. I also have Ofra Wine. I've owned this in my collection for literally so long and it looks almost identical to, I think it's Jaunt, Jaunt or Jaunte Blue one of the shades that I have from them. So I was like, you gotta pick one. So I decided to get rid of Ofra Wine. I'm just, I'm not reaching for these. So I need to get rid of them. And then two more Kylie lip products. I have the shade Malibu. And these are so annoying because these are like literally falling apart. Like it's really, these are annoying to use. So these I'm ready to part ways with, but I have the shade Malibu as well as the shade Ginger. Again, Ginger, like it literally just falls out, so. I'll be getting rid of both of those. Now on to like kind of more exciting stuff, I guess, if you will. I do have, I guess just well, two eye products. So I have this ColourPop Super Shock in the, in the shade Moonwalk. It's this really beautiful green shade, but if I'm reaching for a shade like this, I'm likely gonna be reaching into like a special single shade. There it is swatched right there. I just feel like I have so many similar things throughout my palette collection or my singles. I'm never reaching for this, so I'm ready to part ways with that. And then the other eye product I have is this one from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is one of her shimmering top coats in the shade Icicle. This is a pretty, like, lid topper shade right there, but it's not super impactful. And I, I honestly, if I'm reaching for a shade like this, it's likely because I want something super sparkly on my eyes. And this is just not giving me enough. Like I'd rather just reach into a lid topper. I just bought the Patrick Ta Major Holiday Palette. I could reach for one of those lid toppers and I just feel like it's gonna be better than this. And I'm just trying to move as far away from any Jaclyn Cosmetics products that I currently own. So I'm ready to part ways with that. Okay, I'm gonna try and take off some of these swatches in case there's anything else I wanna swatch. I'm like, is there anything else I'm going to wanna swatch? I don't know. Okay, let's do... 
I have one foundation I'm getting rid of. Um, this is from Laura Mercier. I actually have this on my on my face today, and I've only had my makeup on for oh maybe like oh that doesn't have a mirror. Maybe like two or three hours, and already I'm like it's just settling into my lines. And there's just so many other foundations in my collection I would rather use. I'm thinking of like the Lancome Glow Foundation. I'm thinking of my Dior Glow. That I'm like this. I would just be using to like use it not because I actually love it like I just don't feel like it's the most flattering on my skin so I will be passing this along if I didn't say it's the Laura Mercier foundation the real flawless foundation I have mine in the shade 2n1 I just feel like it's one of those foundations that just is almost too liquidy it just sinks into my lines in an unflattering way I did set my whole face with a powder too and still I'm getting like settling which I just don't love I have two primers I'll also be getting rid of possibly three actually possibly three there's one that i feel like maybe i can like use it as a, as a skincare product i would declutter that later but i am going to declutter my catrice prime and fine poreless blur primer i have about half of this left and while i think this is a good primer i just much prefer my tart i almost said tatcha my tart timeless primer um so i'm just at the end of this year, I will likely, or end of this year, beginning of next year, I am on a primer, no buy. Although I'm like, if I already know I'm gonna buy it, I might still pick it up. I'm currently filming this during like Sephora VIB time, like it hasn't ended yet. Maybe I will purchase that. Just cause I already know I'm gonna buy it, so I may as well get it at a discount. It's just my tried and true go-to best, most favorite pore filling primer and I just want to be using that I'm aging I feel like if I if I have the perfect pore filling primer slash like line smoothing primer I may as well just use that so that's what I'm going to do and then the other primer I will be decluttering is this one from Peter Thomas Roth it's the instant firm no filter primer I do not understand people that rave about this primer because this is always pilled on me absolutely terribly even if I have not done any skincare for the day and I'm not going in with foundation. I've literally tried it like with no foundation, no skincare. It still pills terribly on my skin. So I cannot make this work for me. I will be decluttering that as well. I'm gonna see if my sister or my mom maybe wants to try it. Maybe they'll have better luck. Um, but for me, that was an absolute, like it just didn't work. This product I feel like may come as a shock to you guys, um, but hear me out. I am going to be passing along my NARS Orgasm foreplay blush quad reason being you guys know i've raved about the nars face palettes i love them so much i really like the six pan palettes and all four of these are pretty much identical like they're different shades but they're pretty much identical to nars orgasm on the beach like let me just i mean i definitely did not need this um i should not have purchased this or the palette alongside it because I mean, it was pretty much identical to the summer collection. So anyway, I'd rather just reach for the six pan palette um, and use the exact same shades basically as this quad. Um, so I'm gonna pass this along, see uh, who in my life would love this, but I just, I literally don't need this because I basically have all these four shades in a different palette. And then another face palette I'm going to be parting ways with, um, oh my goodness, this brings back so many memories, but the ABH Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I did take out the shade Tourmaline and I have this in a Z palette, but the rest of the shades are just much more intense than I personally am looking for. I can't remember the last time I actually reached into this palette either. So I'm just, I'm ready to part ways with it. It's been in my collection, literally collecting dust for years with no use. So this is finally getting the boot. I do have a couple of highlights I'll be getting rid of. So I have finally decided that I can just part ways with the M Cosmetics Sunscape Highlighter in Clarity. This again, really beautiful formula, but much more intense than I personally am looking for in a highlighter. And it's a little bit more golden than I prefer. I like something a little bit more pearlescent or champagne. And I compared it against a few highlighters in my collection. And there's just a few others that I would much rather reach for over this. So this is just gonna be a dust collector as well. So I'd rather pass this along to someone who's gonna get use out of it because it's not gonna be me. And then this one was hard to part ways with or make the decision to declutter as well. But ColourPop Lunch Money, again, very, very 
very intense i struggle with products that i have like a pan on or good use on because the project panner part of me is like well you've already like dedicated so much time to this like you could finish this up and that's why like i kind of want to like ease back a little bit on project panning and i'm wondering if my mindset would shift and like i would have a smaller collection potentially if i didn't project pan because i would be more apt to just like pass things along to friends or family that like i'm not using whereas the project panner part of me is like well you should just get used out of it and try and finish it we'll see we'll see what next year brings um but I am ready to get rid of ColourPop lunch money. Okay, this um, has been sitting around for a bit. I've known that I have to declutter this so sadly. This is from Kosas. It's in the shade Velvet Melon. Literally opening this, I can like, I can already smell like the Play-Doh-y sort of scent. I really wish that Kosas still made these. Like Kosas, bring these back, please. I loved these cream blush and highlight duos. I thought they were so beautiful. Tropic Equinox, I had to declutter earlier this year i believe or end of last year and that was like so beautiful it was this product that really made me fall in love with cream products or like start to really become comfortable with them and i would in a heartbeat purchase like every shade they came out with if they re-release these because i love them so much but unfortunately that one has gone off so i will have to actually throw that one out okay I do, I have already pre-filmed two videos for my December Vlogmas because I like really, I'm trying to, I don't even want to say this, but I'm trying to post every single day in November and December. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm trying to pre-film because I also have a trip at the beginning of December. So it's funny, at the end of last year, I told myself I'm not doing Vlogmas again, like I'm not putting that pressure on myself. And now we're sitting here like, and I'm pre-filming like six weeks in advance, but I pre-filmed all the makeup pans in my collection and there's two products, one being the ColourPop Super Shock in Lunch Money and the other being this single that I depotted from a Smashbox palette that I will update you on in that video, but I've decided since filming that that I want to actually declutter these. Um, this is really starting to crumble and break. I, I'm sad I might have to actually, yeah, I'll probably have to just throw away this whole, see, it's like crumbling and breaking. This was such a beautiful blush topper slash like pinky subtle highlight. And I loved this product so much in its lifetime. I use this so much. I'm pretty sure this was in a whole collection project pan that I used over 50 times and have continued to use and love this, but it's old. It's not as vibrant as it used to be. I have other things that I really love. I love my NARS blushes for like a blush topper situation or just a sparkly blush in general that I would much rather more, much more, much more. I would much rather reach for my NARS palettes over this at this point in time. So this I am also going to be parting ways with. For bronzer, I feel like it's always hard for me to like get rid of a bronzer, but this one is just not bringing me the joy that it used to. And I just feel like the shade just has not worked for me this year. This is from Vesca, which they are no longer a brand. It's in the shade Kiss by Santorini. And there's just something about the shade that was not working for me this summer. I have so many other bronzers in my collection currently that I am loving. I really want to get the Gucci bronzer. When I've decided when I finish my Tom Ford bronzer, I will allow myself to buy the Gucci bronzer. So I'm going to be committed to finishing that Tom Ford bronzer. But this just isn't a favorite anymore. I really fell in love with my Victoria Beckham bronzing duo this summer as well. So I just have others that I prefer to use over this one. Um, and I'm ready to part ways with that as well. And then to wrap it up, I have three blushes in my mind I'm ready to part ways with. I feel like in my head, I'm like, I don't even need any single blushes anymore. Like, I just love my face palettes for blushes these days. But then I'm like, ooh, but I like really can't pick any that I would want to get rid of. But I am ready to part ways with Ciate London Date Night. I just feel like this is not the tone of blush that I personally love anymore. So I don't find myself like excited to reach for this one right here it was so beautiful and i used to really really love this it's still beautiful in that i offer as like a beautiful sheen to sheen to the cheeks which i definitely prefer a sheen to a matte but i'm just not as excited to reach for this as i was I, this has gotten so much use from me in its lifetime um so i don't feel super super guilty getting rid of that one but i am finally ready to part ways with that 
And then this is kind of a surprise to me, but I, at first I was just gonna declutter one, but I think I'm gonna declutter both of my Vive blushes. I really, really like this formula, but it is just so pigmented. And um, it they both are matte formulas, and I definitely, although I will say, um, specifically Piazza does offer like a glow, like it, it's, it's like a sheen. So there is Piazza right there. It's this really beautiful bronzy blush, but I think it's just a little too deep for my skin tone, even in the summer when I have a tan. And then the other shade I have is Sorbet, which I loved this blush, especially the last like couple of summers when I was really into like that sunburnt blush sort of look. But it is literally so pigmented that it ends up kind of giving me clown cheeks. And I, again, I just like, I compare these to some of my like NARS blushes that I just love so freaking much. And I'm like, I, I'm just not as excited to reach for these two as I was when I first got them. So, you know, I also have had to come to terms with the fact that like, I can love something, but like over time, as I grow as a human being and change as a human being, my preferences can change and I'm allowed for my opinions and preferences to change and that's okay. That is okay. Um, so I will also be decluttering those two. But after that, you guys, those are all of the makeup products that I will be decluttering. I feel really good about this. I feel like I got rid of a good chunk of makeup and I'm just preparing for my end of year makeup empties. I don't see myself purchasing much more, if any more makeup with the exception of eyeshadow palettes, from now until the end of the year. So I'm just on a mad dash to try and finish off all the products that are really close to being finished in my collection so that hopefully I can have under 450 makeup products in my collection before the end of the year. That is the goal, but that is it for today's video. I would love to know in the comments below if you have recently decluttered anything. If so, what was it? Let us all know. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.